Hello and welcome. This is Nick, aka the Nocturnal Rambler, playing Risen 2 Dark Waters. So, this is the first episode of what I'm intending to be a full playthrough. However, all future episodes will be unlisted so that I don't clutter my channel page up with dozens and dozens of Let's Play videos. So if you want to watch the full playthrough, just be warned that the future episodes will only be viewable when looking at them in playlist format for the Risen 2 full playthrough playlist, which I'll have linked below in the description and the pinned comments, and it would also be visible on the home page. It just means that those videos won't show up individually on my channel page. They're only, they will only show up in the playlist. I should also mention that I have a full playthrough of the first Risen and a review of the first Risen up on my channel page, which you can watch if you have not already and would like to. Um, as for Risen 2, I played this back when it first launched, and in fact I think I might have even pre-ordered it. And I remember being really disappointed with it, because it was a such a stark departure from what made the first Risen such a fun and enjoyable game. There's a lot of mechanical differences that are, I'd say, questionable, and that's putting it politely. And then there's also like a radical shift in theming, with it now Risen 2 becoming this sort of pirate-themed thing. And that's kind of interesting to me. I don't mind that, but it is definitely kind of a uh, incongruous experience going from the first game to the second game. And I also remember it being just a buggy mess when it first launched. Um, lots and lots of technical issues plagued this game when it first came out, and I know some things got patched in after the fact, but I had already finished my playthrough after the official patches came out, so they did nothing to help me and my first impressions when I played the game originally. Um, other than that, I haven't played this game since it first came out, so it's been almost 10 years at this point. I don't really remember a whole lot about it. Um, I've forgotten a lot of things. I may remember like random environments or quests or characters. Who knows? Um, but I'm, I'm interested to see replaying it now, almost 10 years later, with more experience and a wider perspective, so to speak, if I will appreciate it more now than I did originally, or if some of the design systems will have aged more poorly than some other elements from Piranha Bytes' other games, or not. So, I am very eager to see how that will all play out. But, enough of that. Let me just go ahead and jump into a new game, and we'll watch the uh, opening cutscenes. There are always beings endowed with special power chosen by the gods to determine the fate of the world. The Titan Lords were the first, Lords of the Elements. With their help, the gods created our world. But when their work was done, the Titan Lords turned on each other and began a war that ravaged the Earth. The gods grew angry when they saw what had become of the world and banish the Titan Lords to the depths of the earth and the sea, where they were to remain imprisoned until the end of time. An ancient prophecy says on the day they are freed, the age of destruction will begin. Today we know its truth.
With all due respect, Lieutenant, you're drunk and a disgrace to the uniform. <sighs> Go bother someone who gives a damn. Commandant Carlos wants to see you. He's waiting at the top of the tower. Well? All right. Okay, so here we are at gameplay. And right off the bat, there's already like some, I don't know if you want to call them continuity discrepancies or retconning, but already like the beginning of this game doesn't really line up at the end of the first game very well, because at the end of Risen 1, the main character was kind of valiantly stepping into the role of the hero to fight the Titans and the, the Fire Titan on the island of Faranga was just, like, the first step in the journey, and he was setting off for a new adventure and everything, and now, by the time we get to this game, I don't even know how long it's been. A year or two? However long it's been, he's apparently no longer the noble, valiant hero, and he's now a drunken bum. And he's apparently also joined the Inquisition, which you might not have done in your playthrough of Risen. I played Risen 1 twice. The first time back in 09, I joined the uh, Honest of Bonds Bandits, and then the second time I joined the Mages in the Monastery. So I've never joined the Inquisition, and now my character is just in, in the Inquisition. Um, and there's also... Oh, what? Okay. That was convenient. I was just randomly guessing, but there is, um, apparently I do have a pistol. The gunpowder and firearms did not exist in the first game, and now suddenly we have this kind of technology? Well, that's curious. And that's something that doesn't necessarily line up with, uh, the world that was established in the first game. Whoops. Um, I'm trying to look at what else I have. A pirate Still not hat. a pirate. Still, Still not, not a pirate, pirate yet. yet. Okay, um, I think this pirate clothing is a pre-order bonus that may have also been sold as a DLC. And again, because I think I pre-ordered it, I got it for free. This Master Scholar's Ring, I think, 5% glory bonus. I think that's another pre-order thing. I guess I may as well. Um... Yeah. So, let's, I gotta open my logbook. Meet the Commandant. Commandant Carlos wants to talk to me, waiting at the top of the tower. Another quest is Pirate Garb. I brought a set of old pirates clothes with me from Faranga, but I cannot wear them as long as I'm with the Inquisition. Oh well, maybe I'll become a pirate after all. That's kind of cheesy. Um, show quest dialogue? Mm, no quest dialogue. Map marker? No map marker. Okay. Mm, yep, so that's. We're jumping in here. We've got apparently my quarters with uh, 400 bucks. That seems like a lot of money to start the game. Got some chicken. Which became provisions in the inventory. Which. Is health regeneration a 20? Officer sword, apple, apple, so yeah. Apparently all food just becomes provisions. Except for the grog. The grog is not a provision. Blood plus 50 is apparently different from Regeneration 20. Not as strong as rum. Okay, so my health... I guess the grog is just, just heals 50 and the other ones are a slow regen. But I guess I'm here. I may as well look at the uh, skills thing. So this is uh, the, apparently like the attributes, talents, and skills. The way you level up is very different in this game from Risen or even the other 
gothic games, so I think glory is like experience points that you get for killing monsters, completing quests, discovering places like that. And then I think you spend glory to increase your attributes, which replaces things like strength and dexterity and stamina, mana, whatever. Um, to increase these skills, which I think are also increased by... These values are also increased with skills, so my cunning, my let's say my blades is one. I think I learned these skills and my my sword play, what is it called? My blade skill increases. Maybe not. Some of these are like impacting or boosting my talent. So I think these are like passive stats that determine weapon damage and etc. They determine the efficacy of different types of skills. This is a little bit confusing right now because I haven't leveled up, but this is kind of my vague understanding. I think on this playthrough I want to specialize in the cunning and voodoo. Because what I remember is that the melee combat in this game was kind of rubbish. I think it's been improved because I think they patched in like a dodge mechanic, a dodge maneuver that did not exist when I played the game originally, and so maybe the melee combat's a little bit better. And like the firearms, I think is kind of like it was really overpowered and like nullified the game's difficulty, while also being kind of just a boring point and click. So like these don't really seem appealing to me. Whereas, like, the voodoo, I think I played as a voodoo magician in my first playthrough, because I, I want to say that they just have, like, more interesting abilities. They're not, like, as directly combat-related, but they're kind of more interesting ways to manipulate the environments and solve quests, so... I think even though I've already played as the voodoo pirate, I'm probably just going to get go ahead and do that again. Especially because I, I really don't remember my first playthrough that well. Oh. And then talk to Carlos. There's a ship coming in. In this storm. It's not the storm I'm worried about. It's what might be hiding in it. I don't see what you're worrying about. Well, you've only got one eye, so you probably can't see as well as Carlos. Take a look. We need to save the survivors. I'm not risking another ship. The survivors will have to make it ashore on their own. Go down to the beach and gather up anyone who gets to shore alive. Okay. But first, because this is a Piranha Bytes game and this is how I play all games of this, this sort, not just Piranha Bytes games, I'm going to do everything possible before going to the beach. Maki Berry. So, but, but. what did the Commandant say? I've got to get to the beach. Now let me through. Good luck, mate. They kill most folk, but you'll be fine. Who was they? Was there stuff on the beach? What? Who was... Did you see what attacked the ship? Or what, I have no idea what he's referring to. Can't open that door. Oh, well. A little, little bit of Heidi. I got a purse. 50 bucks. 
it. Come here. Alright, so. Looking for anything? Give me some gold and I can get it for you. Um What sort of things are you talking about? Weapons, booze, whatever you need, really. You pay me, I tell you where it's waiting for you. And you go and pick it up yourself. Easy, eh? So, I, I, I probably don't need to know this, because... I'm a thorough explorer. I'm, I'm pretty sure whatever he tells me would be something I could find on my own, as long as it's not, like, some combination to a lock or something. So what are these things? That storehouse I was telling you about at the arbor. What? The best stuff is locked up in the chests. What's but the stuff they don't need is just lying around. So you know it's okay to just go in and help yourself, right? Was he telling me about a storehouse earlier? Because I don't remember. Did I black out or or did this did I somehow pick something out of order just despite going down the top of the list? Ah. Uh. I pay you. And still have to steal the stuff myself? Still not seeing the problem here, mate. But I'll teach you a few tricks of the trade. How to sneak in there unnoticed. Stuff like that. You want me to steal from my own people? Oh, I I've seen you around. I know what you want. You don't belong here. You're not one of these squares. You want adventure. I can tell. Need equipment for going adventuring, am I right? And I'm offering you the chance to get it. Sounds about right. But wait until day. They lock the place at night and you can't get in. There's guards during the day, but don't worry about them. I'll teach you everything you need to know. For a bit of gold, naturally. For a bit of gold? Um, wait. Okay, so he teaches me sneaking. Why? If, if he could teach me lockpicking, that would be better. Because then I could go in there while there's no guards. What do you need gold for in here? What do you think, piss for brains? <laughs> it's a... Uh... Send to your poor old mother. Funny bastard, ain't ya? Yeah, these dialogue options are a little bit uh, more witty than I remember them being. I have my moments. Um, Few and far between, I bet. Wittier than I expected. Um, but because I am curious and this is how I roll, I'm gonna reload the save and I'm gonna... Let's see if he says different things. I'm sure he has to, but I'm curious to see like how it will impact the conversation. Looking for anything? Um. What? Well, you. That the. I don't think any of this matters. So I'll just. What do you need gold for in what here? Do you need gold. What? Do you... Um. Well, if you're just going to insult me... Hey, wait. Don't go yet. Fucking boring me no one to natter with. They ship me off to Takarigua, and there'll be no one but the savages to talk to. Hey, yeah, so there's a little bit of uh, extra dialogue here. Why are they shipping you to Takarigua? Slave fucking labor, that's why. There's a whole ship full of them down in the harbor. Full of what? Maluckers. That's what they call the slaves. Alright, so that, that didn't seem terribly important, mechanically, but that is still kind of a cool sign that there's a little, little extra backstory and uh, world building by choosing the right dialogue. So what are you in for? Nothing. I'm an innocent man. All I was doing was having a nosy round this storehouse at the harbor. Then this big fucker grabs me and says I was trying to rob the place. Me? A thief? You fucking believe that? 
Not for a second. So, X fucking exactly. Man, what is this game rated? Because they are dropping F bombs left and right. This game might actually be rated mature. I don't remember. That seems like a lot of a lot of cursing for for a game. Um. But yeah, this guy wants what, what five hundred bucks to teach me sneaking. I thought I had a lot of money, but apparently five hundred is not much. But if I remember right, that's sneaking is kind of a, an important skill, very useful to have. And if I'm going to be specializing in cunning and voodoo skills, then I may as well just go ahead and learn it. So I don't need this money for anything anytime soon. I want to know how to sneak. It's all in the knees. Keep them bent and your weight spread. Don't go clod up and about like a fucking herd of protectors. Stay light on your feet and no fucker will hear you. Uh, left control, sneak. Left control, get up. Good to know. Uh, well, I guess that's everything for here. Um, yep. Obviously, they want me to go that way, which means I'm going to go the exact opposite direction. Hold, parry, E, fire, pistol. I don't want to shoot the rat. I only got 20 bullets, so I ain't using them on a rat. Strangely, I cannot get any raw meat from a rat. And this must be the storehouse that I apparently can't lockpick. Potion of Blades boosts a bunch of blade stats for, I guess, 30 seconds. So that seems like that would only be useful for, uh, like, a skill check or something. It... <sighs> Miserable weather. Good that we arrived yesterday. Did you see the Kraken? That's what I meant. That could have been us. All sorts. And just where do you think you're going? All of a sudden, I'm craving Kraken Black Spice Rum. Um, I guess I'm going to the ship. To the ship, of course. God let you do that, big boy. Without a damn good reason. Um, uh, how about some rum? How about a damn good bottle of rum? You don't have one. Honestly. Pull the other one. It's got bells on. Oh, but do, do I not have rum? Oh, I have grog. Not as strong and not as effective. Well, that makes me wonder if I have rum, if he'll actually let me on the ship. I remember getting on the ship somehow back in the day. Wonder if there's other dialogue options. Maybe <sighs> I can get way. on elsewhere. Yeah, we arrived yesterday. That's I just. To the ship. To the. I want to see the captain. I want to see the captain. He's catching up on his beauty sleep. What's more important than that? <laughs> um. Yeah, I have an important message, I guess. I have an urgent message from the commandant. Commandant who? Well, Carlos is the only name I know. I don't know. There's no Cortez that has been introduced. Commandant Carlos. A message from the Commandant of the Crystal Fortress. Well then, big boy. I hope for your sake that it really is important. Sebastiano will skin you alive if he gets woken up over nothing. Sebastiano.
Also, there's a lot of, like, rain effects, rain sounds, but I don't see any rain. I do have a couple of graphical tweaks going on. Like, I, I tweaked the any file to get longer view distances. And I have a couple of graphics mods. Um, basically just making it not look like crap. But there's... I forget what it's called. It's... Something that if was, one of them is affects the way that the vegetation gets rendered, because originally it like would grow and shrink as you moved towards or away from it, and it just looks terrible. But I got some mod that fixes that and makes them not do that, and there's another one that I have installed for a level of detail, because like almost everything in the game, the game had like horrifically short draw distances. And it would render things at surprisingly close distance, distances in low detail. And so it would just be constantly all these things popping in and out in low, medium, and high detail. And it was just crazy distracting and I couldn't handle that. So I had to I had to install those mods to make it look right. And of course that was all while I was testing the recording and making sure that I could get the audio levels and everything right. But I don't think any of that would be affecting the rain. So I don't know if the lack of rain is the game's fault or the mod's fault. But uh, here's... Got a gun. Um, what? What? Oh god! I was clicking on left hand and it wasn't going in, and then it suddenly did. So, got the twins. Slightly more damage, faster reload time, but not as good of a pistol skill. Lighter than a regular pistol, but with two barrels. Oh, does that mean it shoots two bullets to do 70 damage? Because that's horribly inefficient if that's the case. I'll test that later, I guess. What in heaven's name do you think you're playing at? I made it perfectly clear I was not to be disturbed. I have an important meeting with Commandant Carlos tomorrow. Wait a moment. Is that my what? pistol you're holding? No, Give no. me that. No. And get off my ship. I am shocked that he noticed that. I did not expect that at all. Um. Well. Now I need to save Scum and not talk to him, I guess. If he's just gonna throw me off the ship, then there's, like, no point in talking to him. I'll just steal his gun and leave. We'll see if he notices later. I'm pretty sure I have to talk to this guy later. Maybe he won't be perceptive, or maybe I have to, like, throw it in my chest to get away from it. For, for him it. to not notice. Yeah. Good job, I found the beach. Glad they rewarded me for that. Torch? Provisions and bullets. It's all. Now, as I recall, there is no way to swim in this game. Yep. It just, they don't even have an animation or an effect for it. It just teleports you back. And that's kind of dumb. 
Like, besides the fact that that eliminates, like, an entire... It's almost like a, an entire dimension, a realm of explorable possibilities to not be able to cross bodies of water or dive under them. But, you know, like, that is effectively removing the dimension of the exploration from the game, but it also just doesn't make sense for a pirate game that's set on an archipelago, an archipelago, archipelago of islands. Like, there's, there's water everywhere, and you apparently, they don't have a way to swim. So that doesn't make any sense. That really looked like something I could pick up. Oh. Ha! It's patchy. I will say her character model looks a lot better than it did in the first game. Draw weapon. Attack. Also, they want me to rescue Patty, but I have the feeling like she's going to be rescuing me. Oh, I missed. What I remember is that the melee combat was just terrible in this game. And this it kind of you oh rescuing me. I was fine. Patty. How are you here? Nice to see you too. I'm here because I have to get a message to the Inquisition, and you're helping. I am? Of course you are. We need to find Carlos, then a ship, a fast one. The, what? No, oh, what? The what? But there is a weapon against the Kraken. What makes you so sure? What happened? Father's searching for it. Steelbeard? You found him? Not yet. I feel like we missed half the conversation. Look. Not so fast. Why would a pirate oppose Mara? After all, she's the greatest enemy the Inquisition faces. Her kraken sinks our ships, her creatures attack our settlements. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Isn't that how it goes? Well, that's true, but the pirates are at war with each other. Half of them have sided with Mara. Father's leading the opposition. He's been searching for a way to kill the kraken. And right now he's in Takarigua. Takarigua? That's where the Black Betty is heading from here, taking troops and workers for our colony there. I could get you both aboard her. Think about it, and we'll talk further tomorrow. Okay, but the wow. Can I, can I control my character? I was on the beach. There were things to see and do on the beach. Uh -huh. I should let her sleep. I should let her sleep. I guess I'll let her sleep. Oh, and what? And now it's the next day already? Okay. That was kind of jarring. I was doing a thing and then it just blasted me through a whole bunch of cutscenes. It wasn't even a whole bunch, it was r really short, but like it was just bam, bam, bam. Okay, um. Wait a minute, was this door open last night? It was not. Two. Also, that door wasn't open. None of these doors were open. But I think the main quest wants me to go there, which means I'm not going to go there. Present arms. A rat. <laughs> um, what? The game seems to have crashed. Yeah, I... the game has crashed. And I can't alt-tab out of it. I can't bring up the task manager, I can't... Alt-F4... Shift-Tab... Shift-Enter... Escape. Alt tab does nothing. Brings me up to the window selection, but I can't get out of this. Task manager doesn't come up. 
trying to bring up my Radeon software, and that's giving me a sound effect, but, uh... Yeah, I think I, I'm screwed. I have to... I think I have to do a, a hard reset here. So, uh, let me try to end this recording, and I guess I'll splice the second part in. Be right back. Okay, so thanks to the uh, magic of editing, it is now, I don't know, 15 hours later, and I'm finally past this hurdle. Basically, I thought this was just going to be a one-time crash where the game was going to just fix itself by rebooting, but every single time I killed this rat, the game would crash and force me to have to... Uh, log out on my desktop and then reboot or something just to get out of it. And I kept trying different combinations of things and then it was just crashing every time I basically loaded into the game and turned the camera it would just immediately crash. So I had to basically uninstall everything. I uninstalled the two graphics mods that I was running and uninstalled the game, reinstalled it. And it seems to be working now, finally, but that unfortunately means that I'm back to the default graphics settings, which, uh, frankly, I just, I can't really accept. Um, it doesn't look too bad on this smaller island here, but once we get past this tutorial area and get to Takarigua, I think, or Sword Coast, or whatever it's called, I think it's one of these islands over here. Anyway, once we get to the next island, it's when it starts really looking just terrible, basically. I did have it working with the mods installed for a little while, but I figured if I'm going through all this hassle to show... try to get those mods running, I may as well show why I'm so insistent on having them running. So I'm going to play for a little while with, with just the base graphics settings as the game comes patched on Steam for a little while and then I'll try to fix it later if I just can't tolerate it but anyway now I can finally continue on rules is rules as long as the ship's in the harbor then the gate stays closed high council's orders see what's so special about that ship slave ship in it although you ask me it seems a bit pointless with this palaver about the gate I mean where are they going to escape to no hiding places in what's left of Caldera, anyway. And beyond that, there's them Titans. So the law's pointless? Well, here, now, that isn't quite what I said. I said the law is nearly pointless. Still, the law's the law, so the gate stays shut. You ever been out to what's beyond Caldera? Are you kidding? It's just a horrible wasteland. Only thing left there are the Titans. What do you know about them? Just enough to know not to go anywhere near them. You've been to Faranga, right? Why? What do people here say about that? Well, you want to hear the polite answer or the truth? Hmm. I like to think that starting with the polite answer will let me get the truth as a follow-up. Let's start with the polite answer. Word from there is the ocular you were wearing was cursed, and they had to take it off you. And that's how you lost your eye. That's all true. Oh, I see. Oh. Well, I guess that is the true Sorry, story. Sorry, <laughs> but end of story. Oh, look at that. Sorry, but end of story. Look at, look at how the gun, the musket, it shifts from... Uh, Coming out of Sorry, conversation. Sorry, but end of story. Like, what? Sorry, but end of story. See, little things like that, they're kind of amusing. They don't bother me. But when it comes to the draw distances and the way the vegetation gets rendered Stand and two. the level of detail with all the constant uh, pop-in... That's where I get really irritated. And you can see... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> There's also... Uh, this game has an autosave. 
which is kind of irritating because I just I don't need it auto saving constantly. You have to, I think you have to turn that off in the uh, one of the any any settings, which I uh, did not remember to go back and change after reinstalling everything. So I guess I'll just put up with the game auto saving. Okay, so here, for example, look at this the wagon right over my character's head. This is such a short range, a very short viewing distance. And the game is doing this detail popping even at this range. And this is, you know, this is on, oh gosh, here we go. This is on uh, everything on high and ultra. And with the, um, the any file view range at whatever it is by default. It used to be actually be much worse than this. I looked it up and the ranges that were in the default any file were significantly lower than what they are now. So that's just kind of, that's kind of irritating just to have this constant popping visual effects like that. But I don't want to just keep ragging on that. Like I said, it'll be much more uh, noticeable once I get to the next island. Did you see? Another ship was hit last night, right by the fortress. I was on the tower. Saw the whole thing. Really? Those poor bastards. All dead. No. Just one survived. Poor devils. Let's not dwell on that, eh? Maybe the tide carried something good ashore. Times are hard. I don't mean to exploit other men's misfortune, but I could use supplies. Maybe you could take a little trip to the beach. Have a look. New quest, Flotsam. I uh, Caldera, Flotsam, collect beach Flotsam for the storehouse master. Didn't so, find anything for me? Not yet. Hurry up, or the good stuff will be gone. Who's gonna take the good stuff except for Inquisition folk? There's literally no one here but Inquisition folk. Okay, so... Homeboy Largo is telling me to sneak in here and grab some stuff. Obviously, that's the sort of thing I easily could have figured out without him telling me that. But... I did have to pay the 500 gold to learn sneaking. I'm pretty sure this guy will just psychically know that I'm in the warehouse if I'm not in stealth mode. Go, please. Maybe he hears Go my on. footsteps. Get out of it. But as you see, you need to be in stealth mode for this guy to not notice you. So may as well just come in here and loot everything I can. And gold. I also want to say that I think there's another way in here. If you come back later in the game with, like, some sort of skill. I think it's the monkey. I think you're able to get a monkey companion that you can pull out of your pocket or something. And then you can r run along ledges and through tight openings as a monkey. I think you can cut sneak in through one of these windows or something. But that's obviously no good now when you don't have the monkey. Maybe you need the monkey to get through this locked door if you don't have the lock picking what skill. Do I know about picking locks? So, yeah. So far, the spoils are not terribly exciting. Three silver goblets. They say they're worth 50. I don't know if they'll sell for 50. What? 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 Go, what? please. Go on. You weren't Get supposed to see it. that. Okay, so here's another detail. You see the guy on the bridge? On top of the bridge onto the ship? 
He just pops in. And that's the sort of thing that, at this visibility range, even on maximum settings, you should just be able to see that guy. That shouldn't have to be de-rendered. And that becomes a problem later in the game when, like, you're exploring islands and then there are enemies, like, up ahead in the environments that you can't see because they're just not rendered until you get close enough for them to pop in. I don't know why I'm checking here. I've already explored that, but, um, yeah. I'm also really curious about why... Why do these look like faces right here and the gold trim... Is that just decorative art, or what is that? There you are. Uh, yes, here I am. Where is the captain? At the fortress with Commandant Carlos. It's time we weren't here. The what, what? Adding here was madness. Orders or no orders. I keep on thinking, what if they sail without us? You think that they might? All I know is, I'd rather be bummed by an angry kraken than sit around waiting for them titans. No, I don't have the time right now. I don't have that time. No, I don't have time right now. No, I don't have time. I love how they say the same line with such drastically different um, tone, tone of voice. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can, Nothing do. I can do. Helmsman. The skies are clear today. That means we'll set sail soon. Yeah, okay. Not until I'm ready, though. I wonder if I hadn't have stolen this pistol, it's possible that Sebastiano would have taken it with him, and then I would not have had the opportunity to get it now. And it seems like there is a hidden stamina meter for sprinting. So I am holding down the sprint key, and I'm still holding it, and the character got exhausted and, like, wiped his brow. So that's mildly annoying. That's like an arbitrary, uh, restriction that they put on the game without any sort of feedback to inform it. It's just like, oh, I guess you're not sprinting anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. Also a good point to mention these animations aren't great. I mean, you know, Prana Bite series are not not great at character models and animations, but like this the sprinting animation is that just seems really rigid. Like he's got a steel rod going up his spine and across his shoulder blades. I don't know, that doesn't seem very natural or fluid to me. And then the jump animation is like... I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's bizarre. I guess I can fight. This is where I, I don't remember what all I was explaining yesterday when I was playing previously, but this 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 dodge animation was not in the game originally, and that was a big part of why the combat felt so bad when it first launched, because you really had no way 
to avoid enemy attacks, because blocking, you see that it, it does nothing. So really all you could do, especially at this early stage of the game, was just to spam the attack button, just to try to keep them at bay. And I also want to say there was a really restrictive lock-on system that... Like, when you hold right-click, I think it kind of targets on them. Yeah, the camera targets on them. And I want to say that the game used to auto-target like that and force your camera to lock onto targets, even when you weren't holding the guard button. Whoops. I guess I'll just load the autosave. The thing that I was criticizing earlier that I didn't want to exist. And so it was, just, I think it was, if I'm remembering right, it just, it felt really kind of slow and sticky, like you were stuck in the combat system and you could not turn away from enemies or run or anything. You couldn't dodge, you couldn't block enemy attacks, so it was just really, felt really restrictive. It was kind of like they designed the combat system for... When they wanted to get, like, this whole swashbuckling pirate duel kind of thing, like, with rapiers and fencing weapons. But that doesn't really translate very well when you're fighting bug monsters on a beach. a little bit of tactics involved with this sort of quasi-crowd control. You don't want to let them get on your flank where, they'll, where the enemies can attack you. But again, like you could, you could not do that very well or at all when the game first came out because you, you couldn't dodge like that and I think your movement was forcibly stuck like almost like this the whole time. And so... I could be misremembering this aspect of it, but I just remember it being really, r being really rough. And now I'm discovering after uploading this that I'm getting a copyright claim because of the music in just this little cave area. Apparently the copyright holder is flagging it on content ID, and so that means I have to re-record this little section with the music turned way down and hope it doesn't get caught and then, then I have to come back and replay it again with the music turned off. So this just kind of goes to show that there's a lot of issues outside of the fact that the game is kind of frustrating. The, uh, there's a lot of technical issues. I've already had one crash and there's other technical problems, like there's another crash that's going to happen soon. And now there's this issue with the copyright, and I'm just like, man, like, I just want to have a smooth experience doing this playthrough, and everything has been the opposite of smooth. It's like right here, there's a weird collision error. There's like a clipping. Something on the floor is preventing me from walking in there. I think this hero's crown is about all that's worth grabbing in this cave. Interestingly enough, I think the crystals in here are why this place is called the Crystal Fortress, but I don't think it's uh, has any significant bearing on the story. And the hero's crown gives me permanent stat boosts here, but I think with the potion brewing skill that I'm going to get later at some point, the... Uh, 
brew potion skill, I'm sure I'll be able to get more than plus one out of uh, out of that hero's crown. And so now I'm about to try to sync up with the rest of the footage I recorded, so I um, apologize if this will have a little bit of a weird skip to it. Um... Okay, there it was. These saves are just... Now they're just taking forever. Now I'm getting a huge lag spike. I'm not convinced that the game hasn't crashed. I think the game has crashed again, exactly like it did originally. Ah, oh, goodness. So, I gotta, gotta deal with the headache of this now. Let me exit out. Alright, so for the third time, I am back into Risen 2. Though, in reality, this is more like the 18th or 19th time that I've just tried to play without having some sort of major issue with recording software or with the game crashing or whatever, so... By golly, I would very much like to be able to just play the game. So, find anything for me? Barrels and crates. Barrels and crates. That's all that's left. Good lad. This is good stuff. You got some gold, too? Go to Angus for that. I'm no longer a member of the Inquisition. What? Funny. What? You look just like one. Not for much longer. So, you're really leaving? On the next ship going. Oh, what? Well, I've seen enough wrecks today. Be careful. What? what? Who? Who is Angus? Why am I not in the Inquisition? Is there a conversation that the game was assuming I had already had? is <laughs> I think all this fire is supposed to be wreckage from the Titan attack. But if it's supposed to be titans, I don't know how much fire there would be, because we've already killed the fire titan, and all these ones are like... Mara is a water titan. That's kind of curious. I should let her sleep. Shoulder arms! It's a fair deal, mate. You'll see. D well, okay. At ease, lads. Yeah, at least when I quick save, it's not taking three or four seconds What's now. New? Nothing. Another shit job to do. Ship's Shoulder about to sail and I've got a prisoner off. to load. Who's the prisoner? Probably Largo. Who's the prisoner? Some pirate. Joined one of our ships, then tried to raid our storehouse. Idiot. So he gets a one-way trip to Tecarigua. Yep. Alright, so Severin over here. I'm trying to teach these mummies boys some discipline. Isn't it obvious? Um. Uh, I'll show them how to fight. I'll show them how to fight. Oh, so the hero of Faranga has his own methods, does he? Perhaps our hero would care to share some of his wisdom. All right. See, the trick is to get a companion like Patty, who will run around and tank all of the hits 
and do all the damage while you run away like a little girl. That's the strategy. Um, You'd be better off teaching them how to fight. Good idea. Volunteering to help, are you? Sure. Let's fight. If you want. Test this Just out. Just as soon as you're ready. Uh, okay. Let's. Um. Let me do a save. Stand to. I recall this guy is pretty hard to fight. Let's train. Watch closely, men. Why are we waiting? And if I also recall, I can do this. Shoot him in the you face. Show him. Ha. Why are we uh. waiting? Okay. Ha. You show him. Hey, he broke my defense. Look at that. Ha. What's keeping you? Attack. Hey. Do it. <laughs> I think there's supposed to be enemies have some special Come attacks on. they can do to knock your guard out. Besides kicking him. Mean, I'm also a little scared to attack him because I think he's got counter attacks. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, he just kicked my ass. I think that one's had enough. <laughs> so the winning strategy is to just shoot him. Stand oh to. man. That's so ridiculous. Well, let me let me see if I can do this without um, without Stand having to two. tease him with the gun. How long are you gonna work? Oh, whoops. I, that whoops. means weapon. Oh, and well. it's not what I wanted to. I'm probably gonna fail Let's anyway, train. so let me just try. Watch. You show him. Oh my God. Come on. You show no mercy. Me, uh, I like you. Not suck so much. This guy seems to be doing like strong attack, which I don't think I have. Stand to. I would also like to sleep in a bed to heal, but Patty is in my bed. Not now. Can't Not sleep now. in these ones. Let's train. Let's train. Watch close. Attack already! <laughs> Yeah, he does that really big wind-up, and that's like some kind of heavy attack. Attack already! Which I don't have. What 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 what? Do it! Attack already! You show him! Show him what you can do! He kicked me in the butt. Get him! You show him. You show no mercy. I like you. Hmm. Let's train. Let's what? Attack already! <laughs> Do Ow. it! Get him! Yo, would you guys? Ah, uh, these guys are crowding my space. You show it. Uh, Lost. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with skill Let's alone. Try. Watch, get him! I'm having a really hard time figuring out any sort of. What's keeping you? Attack! You see, I was in the middle of a dodge when he kicked me, and that interrupted get it. Get him! Do it! I think he just punched me for 40% of my health. You show no mercy. I love. Guys, he's got his guard up like constantly. Let attack already. So I really can't ha! just attack him. Have him. Get him. Like the only way I can get a hit in is to do so after he's already attacked. 
and the recovery time on the roll dodge. Whoops, is so. Let's try. What? Why are we for long that I can't really do it reliably? Ah. Ow! Come on, you show him. <clears throat> oh, Why not... are we waiting? This is his guard stance. Does he have any kind of indication when or if he's going to on, you show him. be able to counterattack? Come on! What's keeping you? Attack! Why are we waiting? Come on, you show him! Come on! Come on, you show him! What, 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 what are you Do doing? It. This is where I want the game to auto to target him, and he didn't do it. Come on! The best I have is to guard until he does a thrust attack so that I can sidestep the thrust and then I can poke him. Do it! Why are we waiting? Well, what are you doing, game? That what is happening? Is there some kind of lock on that I'm not Activating. Gameplay. Hints, successes, camera speed. Stop. Uh, forwards, back, resume, and walk, run. Weapon mode, primary, secondary. And two. There is no lock on, as far as I can tell. So earlier, Let's I was criticizing the it. original release lock on for being too restricting, and now it's just like Come on. to the point of being non-functional. Where I am clearly trying to target Come one on. specific enemy, and then the guy randomly decides he's going to look somewhere else. Like What's that? What are you doing? Why are we waiting? You show him! Why are we waiting? Oh, what happened? Why did I roll? That was. I was trying to shift movement diagonally, and somehow I triggered a roll. Stand to. Let's. Why are we waiting? All right, so. Come on, you show him. Come on. Come on, you show him. Do it. What's keeping you? Attack. Do it! Wow, wow. Ah. Why are we waiting? No, 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 no. No. Come on! Come on, you show him. What's keeping you? Attack! Why are we waiting? What's keeping you? Attack! Come on, you show him! Come on! What's keeping you? Attack! And there you see, I can just Do eat it. provisions in the middle of a fight without even taking the time to What's consume you them. Attack. That's kind of dumb. Uh, you show him. Why 
Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I think I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Stand to. Shrunk. Let's tr watch. Why are we waiting? <laughs> What's keeping you? Attack. Made a bad decision on when to shoot. Do though. it. What's keeping you? Attack! You show him! Are his Do it. kicks damaging me? Why are we waiting? What's keeping you? Attack! Do it! Keeping you attacked. This guy is relentless. Why are we waiting? What's keeping you attack? Come on. Why are we waiting? Do it. Come on! That was brutal. I literally just shot the guy to death. I think that one's had enough. Oh, oh. That was brutal. Mm, quick there save. Go. Nice one. It did not help him up. He just got it. Wasn't too bad a workout, was it? Next time, hero, it'll be different. How long are you going to work these men? In a week's time, Commandant Corrientes is embarking on a secret mission. I intend to provide him with first-class soldiers. That means weapons training and fencing practice from dawn till dusk, and at night if needs be. What secret mission? The High Council is sending another expedition to the New World. Commandant Carlos is the only one apart from Corrientes who knows the details. I, I don't want to train again. How many bullets did I use? Six? Stand to. Eight? Or four? But yeah. So that that melee combat was pretty rough. And I don't know how much of that is just due to me being untrained at it. But it really, you know, there's supposed to be an element of aggression in the RPG mechanics where it's, certain enemies are supposed to be unrealistic for you to fight at a low level. Tease, lads. But that was really tough. Like there is not a whole lot of good like responsiveness or feedback to the system Shoulder to kind of to, to know or feel like have confidence of when you're safe to attack and when you're safe to block or not. And kind of just it felt Stand like I two. had to think outside of the game, so to speak, and kind of analyze it from the mechanic standpoint of like okay. When he thrusts, I can do this. So on and so on. Um, what is this? Pre- Whoa, I'm on caps lock. Pre-Carlos. The situation hasn't changed. We're safe here for as long as Ursigor and his male are still fighting each other up north. But Ursigor. one of them's going to win eventually, and then they'll march here on Caldera. The plan is for us all to be gone before that happens. So the High Council has finally decided on the evacuation issue? Not yet. They want us to explore the new world more before we abandon Caldera. Bloody fools! What about Mara? And what about the ships we keep losing to that monstrosity of hers? There's been a new development there. We believe there may be a magical weapon powerful enough to kill the Kraken. One of my best men what? is looking what? into it. He, what can one man do against that monster? He just phased into a new position, it looked like. Um. Yeah, did I hear him say Ursigor and Ismail are fighting, and then whoever wins is going to march on Caldera? I thought Ursigor was, like, in charge of containing the Fire Titan. And then we kind of took over his role at the end of the first game. 
so I feel like either I'm misremembering what the plot of Risen 1 was supposed to be, or that just doesn't make sense. W wouldn't Ursagor be not trying to destroy the world? Um, I'm going to be somewhat of a smart aleck here and say, beats me. Beats me. That's your best man. Yeah. Does the High Council know about this? No, and there's no reason they need to. Let them take forever coming to a decision. We need to act now. I see. I just hope you know what you're doing. When you finished here, see Sebastiano on the ship. Sebastiano. Black Betty set sail today. There's an Inquisition outpost on Takarigua. You'll be able to pass yourself off as one of the workers there. Then you need to head to the other side of the island and find the pirate's den. Okay. And once I'm with the pirates? Earn Steelbeard's trust, and try and find out if there is a weapon we can use against the Kraken. If there is, we need it. So find it and bring it back here. And I do this without anyone knowing I'm with the Inquisition? Absolutely. Any connection to us must be kept secret, particularly if you encounter any of the Takarigua garrison. Sebastiano is the only one who'll know of your mission. Tell no others. If the pirates even suspect you've any link to the Inquisition, they'll kill you. So I can't even trust our own people? They may have a connection to the pirates. There's no way of knowing. Better safe than dead. I understand. If there's any chance this weapon exists, we must find it. You're our only hope now. Don't forget. From this moment on, you're no longer part of the Inquisition. Zoom camera. Good to know. Yeah, so that sounds like the conversation that the game thought I had already had when it was when Homeboy was saying that I knew I was bound on the next ship for Takarigua and that I was not uh, with the Inquisition anymore. I gotta talk to Sebastiano and get him to take me with them. Why do I have to convince him? Shouldn't that just be orders? Sleep. Oh, now I can sleep. reason the game with the mouse it has like crazy restrictions on the vertical axis like you can move left and right horizontally really easily but then up and down it's like there's nowhere near as much uh, freedom of movement oh hey here's Angus what are you doing the payroll that's what I'm doing if I'm checking, checking it, once, it once I'm checking, I'm it, checking twice. it twice look after the gold pieces and the ingots look after themselves Got to admit, I won't be sorry stopping doing this. What do you mean? Everyone will still be getting paid, right? Of course they will. What I mean is, I won't be here soon. You're quitting? Not exactly. But you don't have to be a soothsayer to see the way the wind's blowing around here. You just have to look over the battlements. So I volunteered for the next expedition, see? Tell me more about the expedition. All I know is there's a ship sailing to the New World next week. Everything else about it is hush-hush like. But whatever it is, it's got to be a better bet than sticking around here. What about my pay then? Yours? You're not getting a brass sovereign. What? I heard what the Commandant said. You're not with the Inquisition any longer, right? That. Did I have talked to this guy before I talked to Carlos? Do I have five silver tongue? You know the regulations well, do you? That's why they made me Persa. Then I bet you know how a man in my situation could get paid nonetheless. Well, I could always mark it down as special expenditure. Now you're talking. In that case, I could pay you up to 200 gold pieces. Interesting. I'm very curious to know 
it was possible for me to avoid the conversation with Carlos and then get that money without having to silver tongue my way. Stand to. The situation uh, nope, hasn't maybe not. But not this what up what get me out of here. Um I guess I'll try a different dialogue. I can handle myself. That's then, your bit. Uh, oh god. Wait this I understand. I, if you don't Guess not. So I just I had to have silver tongue to get that, or maybe there's another way. But I'm calculating. What? What? what, what? I need to concentrate. What? Okay, you you do you. I didn't want to talk to you. My silver tongue is five. Pocketing and lock picking makes sense. Monkey to steal for me. Parrot trainer to distract enemies. Old trickster. Cooldown is greatly reduced. If that reduces the quote unquote reload time on pistols, that might be cool. 30 tricks talent. Thievery, silver tongue. These are kind of boring. I want to say these are just purely like the success rate of like attempted thievery. Oh, isn't there some skill where you could like throw sand in someone's face? Where is that? Am I thinking of Risen 3? No, it has to be Risen 2. Pick. Liquid Courage. Quack. Indestructible sounds dope. Critical hits. Nuff said. Immediately by a shot in the head. <laughs> I remember there's some ridiculous line of dialogue about this, like... I think you talk to a trainer and he says something like, The character says, like, I want to learn how to shoot people in the head while they're talking, or something something ridiculous like that. Pull down for pistols, reduce significantly, so that must not... apply for that dirty tricks thing, even though... E is considered the dirty tricks button. Blazing barrels. Muskets, shotguns, pistols. Our attack. Right post. Allows you to launch repost directly after a parry. Powerful repost. Your reposts cause considerably more damage. Swordmaster, inflict more damage on you. I wonder if I become a voodoo pirate, if I can, like, throw spears at people. Have fun with that. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. I might be at my limit for things I can do in Caldera. Talk to Patty. Here she is. So, slept like a log, I hope. Yeah, if the log didn't sleep at all and got woken up by the screams of a madman, how did you cope all these months? Made a friend, an intoxicating beauty, name of Rum. Huh. Then you and my father had a friend in common. You'd be great drinking Shoulder buddies. So her animations are like way more, uh, lourished. It's like way more gesticulating, gesturing way more with her arms and just general body language. Tell me about your father. What's to know? It's a short story. Father leaves me on Faranga with nothing but a chart and a single page of his diary. But guess what the page shows the way to? Treasure. Not just any treasure. Shoulder. 
his treasure. Only one detail missing, which island it's on. I'm going to find out. You still want to steal your father's treasure? No, I want us to. Better still, you help me find the treasure, and I'll help you find your weapon. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Deal. You won't be sorry. This is going to be fun. Any other survivors on the beach? Just you. I'm sorry. Oh, such a loss. Right. So go do whatever it is you still need to do here, and I'll meet you at the ship. Don't be long. I don't think there's anything else to do. In fact... I just realized I was doing that fight against uh, Severin without the twins, which allegedly would do, would have done more damage and shot a little bit faster. Yeah, then let me go ahead and just put that on. Put the twins on. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's about time to leave Caldera. The tutorial, if you so, if you. If you will. It's a fair Let's deal, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you on the ship. I'll see you on board later, then. So, why are you going to Takarigua? Takarigua. I'm Shoulder trying a magical weapon arts. to kill the Kraken. Um, oh, these, these dialogue choices have a little flair of personality to it. That's kind of fun. I can be, like, straight and serious. I can be a little bit more somber. Or I can just, you know, screw around. Just fancy a holiday. Come on, you can tell me. Shoulder off. I forgot uh, uh, how much am I supposed to not tell people about my mission? I'm going to save all of you. Whatever you say, no matter how nuts you are, you can't make it worse. So I just hope you're right. Is that anywhere in my uh, quest log? quest dialogue. I'm talking to Patty in this, what? That's not what I was expecting. Go quest dialogue, find steel beard. Oh dear. Oh dear. Titan weapon? Is it under here? Here we go. Passive as a worker. There's a lot more dialogue to this. They are not showing. Nothing here to take. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, well. Raw chicken can become provisions when it's cooked. I'm not a Still pirate. I'm not a pirate yet. Time to make a leaving caldera save. Let's go to Takarigua. Let's go to Takarigua. Tell it to the captain. I want to hear these guys again. No, I don't have the time right well, now. I don't have the time. No, I don't have time right now. I don't have the time. I'm ready. Yep, yeah, that's good. Sebastiano. The ship's ready. How about you? Nah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Raise the anchor. Set the sails. Helmsman. Set course for Takarigua. Leaving the Crystal Fortress.
Oh dear. Most look convincing. The Inquisition would disown you again if they saw you in that. Come on, the crew's left. We should leave too. Doubt the Puerto Sacarico garrison will have much of a clue about the pirates. But maybe we can get some clues that'll help us track down their den. We should get ourselves ready for the expedition. <laughs> I can't wait to get back in my normal clothes. Well, you can't. What? I threw them overboard. You did what? Didn't you want to make sure no one knew you were part of the Inquisition? I liked them. These ones smell funny. They increase character stats. Oh, I have... A thousand glory. And I guess I can spend that just in this window to increase these stats. And before I do that... Garigua... Okay, spend a thousand glory. I don't want to invest any of these points yet until I kind of have a better idea what I'm going to be doing with my stats and character build, but I do want to see if... This is 5, 15, and 5, so I want to see if increasing my blades, for instance... Yep, so these, I guess, passive stats go up by 5. And that allegedly increases damage. A melee attack with a bayonet. So I don't want to. I don't want to do that just yet. I think this was the first game that. Uh, Chronobites did without Kai Rosenkranz as their musical composer. I, want, I actually want to say that this music that's playing right now is surprisingly good. Like, that's got kind of a neat little flair to it that I think is pretty, pretty strong at evoking this sort of... Um, the theme of the game, the pirate vibe. It's got a decent enough little melody to follow. Nice instrumentation. Certainly a little bit better than, uh, maybe, maybe more than a little bit. A lot more enjoyable than the soundtrack for Elix, which always felt kind of unmemorable to me. Don't make life easier having slaves around? Why yeah, do you trade nice like the panther? Back a little rest. We'll be heading to the Sword Coast soon. Yeah, but they won't. <laughs> what? I thought I saw something I could pick up. Ah, you got rid of your uniform. Good, good. I told my chaps I'd given you a dishonorable discharge due to inappropriate behavior. A not unreasonable explanation, judging by the state of you. Now. No one will link you to the Inquisition. What a splendid day. Asshole. <laughs> what is happening in this game? Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Planning. nothing to see or do on the ship. Maybe Patty will talk to me. How exactly are we going to find out? So how exactly are we going to find out where Steelbeard buried his treasure? Easily. The same way as you get most men to talk. Not like that! I just mean enough rum and he'll be singing us the location. How am I doing? How am I doing? Huh, like you're not cocky enough. We have a mission and a long way to go. I don't remember if there's supposed to be, like, uh, friendship or relationship things with these companions, or not. But, okay, so now that I'm on Hacker Regula, this is where the graphics, my issues with the graphics really become noticeable. 
And as I've said repeatedly, like, I am not very picky about graphics. Like, as long as they're not terrible, like, I'm okay with things looking not as good as they could be, or being lower fidelity, or having rough edges and imperfections, but this is borderline unacceptable to me. So look at, just look at the trees and how, how much they shift. The vegetation literally is growing and shrinking into place as you walk towards and away from it, while like the branches and things are constantly shifting positions and popping in and out of low detail and high detail mode. And that is just really distracting to me. Like, that is really hard to ignore, and that just kind of interrupts the immersion a lot for me, where it's... Having these things that, like, I've never seen that in any other game I've played, with trees literally growing and shrinking like that. Like, I don't understand why that is in the game like that. Especially noticeable on that tree to the left, in the background. And I think, yeah, this NPC, that guard, out of my way, Patty, like, see? He just pops in and out. So that is all just really, really frustrating. Oh, man. No, first I have to know where I'm going. And so I would very much like to put those mods back on and get the game not doing all this annoying stuff with the visuals, but it seems to be running somewhat stably for the time being. And ultimately, I would prefer to not have the game be constantly crashing. There's a warthog or a bull, not a bull, but a pig. There's a thing up there that is coming, is popping in and out of view distance, and this really isn't that far of a view range, so he really should be visible. And that's... I just, that really bothers me. Go get him, Patty. That is just constant squealing noise. Yeah. So boy, this combat music is like super loud. Nugget is used for some sort of crafting. <laughs> oh dear! These these veg vegetation directly ahead, like that is just so strange to me. Like it's not just it's not just affecting the level of detail, it's physically altering the composition and distribution of the vegetation in the scene. And that is just so bizarre to me. That's like some kind of alien creature designed this game and has no idea how earth vegetation works.
Pretty sure there's a thing that spawns somewhere here. A little sand devil. There it is. That's something I remember from my test footage when I was trying to get the recording software running. I basically spent like, I don't know, 30 minutes just running around this island, fighting enemies and exploring, basically just trying to test the performance of the game and the software, the recording software, to make sure that I was getting stable frame rates and a good quality recording. I had some difficulties at first getting all this to work out right, and then I thought I had it, and then then the game started crashing on me randomly. And Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I won't kick your ass. And my, you know, my test footage was working fine when I had the mods installed, and then suddenly, once I actually started playing the game and not just running around doing test footage, it just started not working right. So. Fishes. This is a missed opportunity to put a little. Oh god, to put something in that barrel. Regen, Golden Clover, 5 Regen, Black Orleander, 5 Regen, Spirit, Re Spirit Lily, 5 Regen. So far they all sound like just generic plants to me, but I'm sure they have some different purpose when it comes to potion brewing recipes. This looks suspiciously like... Whoop. Like a, uh, a spot where I could dig for treasure. But I don't remember how treasure digging works in this game. A turkey. A bunch of turkeys. I'm gonna kill the turkeys and get some drumsticks. And 21 glory, apparently. Turkey gives me chicken. guitar slide. Oh, boy. This is where I'd really like to be able to climb. And this is why I remember the exploration being so generally unsatisfying, because it's like invisible walls. Here. Can't walk under this thing. Can't climb over it. You got this water that you can't swim in. It's all just kind of it feels arbitrarily restricting. You're not alone. Oh, there's three of them. 
Get him, Patty. Shoot him. Because I'm a woman doesn't mean I won't blast your ass with a pistol. Ooh, I got rum. Actual rum. And now I have sand. Oyster shell. Sand is a dirty trick item. It cannot be sold. I was remembering being able to throw sand at people, and this makes it sound like it's a piece of an equipment. Like I just have an unlimited supply of sand in my pocket. Whoops. Dirty trick. Chance of knocking out an enemy. Same range. No re reuse time? This is where I'm starting to get very confused, because I would assume that I would have a limit on how many coconuts I can throw at someone. Like, I can't just find one coconut and then have an infinite supply of coconuts, right? It's not how that works. Aye, aye. Who have we got here? We don't usually get anyone but soldiers and workers around here. People who do something useful. But you, you just look like some kind of work shy layabout. What's your business here in Puerto Sacarico? Um... Guess I'm looking for work. I'm just here looking for work. Well, if you're not afraid of a bit of hard honest work, you should talk to Pedro. He'll probably be in the square, hanging around those crates of his. Listen up. Here's a word to the wise. This is a decent place, and I aim to keep it that way. Worst comes to the worst, you can always work with the slaves harvesting sugarcane in the fields. Get on my wrong side though, and you'll be seeing the inside of our tower lockup. Only one guest in there at the moment, so plenty of room for another undesirable like you. We understand each other. I think so. Yeah, okay, there's a second coconut. I've got two hard rock coconuts. These are musically inclined and they have a harder edge than a typical rock band coconut. Your report, Lieutenant. I'm afraid the delivery is somewhat smaller this time. What do you mean by smaller? A few of the crates are missing. Missing? How? 
pirates must have crept into the storehouse at night. But the storehouse is guarded at night, is it not? Um... What do you mean by, uh? The guards were elsewhere, sir. Chasing the runaway slave, sir. They what? Don't shoot the messenger, sir. Then who should I shoot, Lieutenant? It's all Di Fuego's fault. He ordered me to halve the number of guards. Di Fuego! The High Council should never have allowed a civilian to take command! My thoughts exactly, Commandant. Did I ask your opinion? Dismissed! Uh, so while sitting here, you also notice that the shadows cast by the trees are just popping into new positions. And I think that's because the sun, like as it moves throughout the sky throughout the day, it only shifts position like every 30 minutes, every in-game 30 minutes or every 15 minutes or whatever. And so instead of being like a gradual change in the, the shadow positioning, it just pops into a new spot. And that is yet more of that sort of distracting, immersion-breaking stuff where, like, normally I would be okay with that, but it's just one more thing that kind of adds up to a lot of really distracting graphical pop-in effects that I just I do not like with this game. Pedro. Anyone care if I take the food? Wine is a provision. I'm gonna be chugging bottles of wine in the middle of a fight. tables are popping into detail modes. Whoa, look, who do we have here? <laughs> if it isn't the lout. He even looks like a lout. Do you know what he did? Uh, the commandant didn't say. Am I the lout? Something unspeakable to that girlfriend of his, I think. No. <laughs> the dirty dog. Come on, let's go. Let's get something to eat. That's uh, unfortunate. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Osorio. Blast it and bugger it. I keep the whole colony fed. But what help do I get? I'll tell you. Bugger all. Bugger all. Got any provisions to sell? I suppose so. Just let me know what you need. Show me your goods. I need some provisions. He's got rum, grog, and provisions. That's kind of generic. Any work going here? About bloody time someone asked that. Want to earn 200 gold? Yes. Know much about cooking? Um, I can fry meat. I'm sure I, well, I can do all this. But I like the idea of frying meat. I can fry meat. Meaning you know how to burn it on a stick over a fire. Well, I can use you for a messenger. But I still need someone to help in the kitchen. How about your girlfriend here? She looks like a lass who knows her way around a kitchen. And you look um, like a fat creep who's going to get a knee in the balls. We're going hard on the sexism here. That's a no, I think. Um... Sounds like I can talk to her if I take this option, so maybe I'll try Give that. me a minute. I'll sort it out. About that kitchen thing. There's nothing to discuss. You did work in a bar for however long on Faranga. Hey, I don't think I have Silver Tongue. We could really use the gold. We? So I do all the work and you take the money, eh? I can help get supplies from town. Oh, perhaps you can pick me out a special new outfit for any other jobs you want to rent me out for. It's not going well. I mean, you can be working here while I take other jobs. It's not like you're the only one working. It's only for one day. So you offered my services and not your own? 
Well, I'm a... And you're oh no, a... don't say that. <laughs> There's a name for men like you, and it's not Captain. It's not the way you convince her. Maybe not a good idea. No, this is really... I don't, want, I don't want to call her good girl. That's kind of demeaning. Good girl. Mention it again, you'll lose your other eye. Alright, so can I just do with the thing? About that job. Sort something out, did you? Not yet. So why are we still talking? Um. What? So here's the question. Can I? I can't do the messenger thing because I tried to get Patty to to work here while I was doing other things. Blast it! Em. I keep. I... Uh... Any work going? About... No. Um, I can boil water. I can boil water. Oh, wonderful. I can use you for a messenger. But I still need someone to help in the kitchen. How about your girlfriend here? She looks like a lass who... And you... That's a no, I think. Then I don't have any work for either of you. Why don't you... You said you needed a messenger. You can't have me be a messenger without having someone to help... Also in the kitchen? About that kitchen thing. There's nothing to discuss. Good girl. Mention it again, you'll lose your other eye. Okay. How am I doing? You know what I think of you, don't you? That I'm great? Okay, you're great. Now move it. So I guess I just need to get Silver Tongue up to a 10 to convince her to work in the kitchen. Rock... Rochefort? Rockafort? Bloody nonsense. Bloody nonsense. Problems. You could say that. It's De Fuego. <laughs> the man drives me crazy. He's a civilian with no idea about military matters. And yet the High Council still put him in charge here. <laughs> I'm looking for pirates. You have to take orders from him? As commander of the guard here, I've little choice. But just look what he's done to the guard allocation. I've so few men left, I can't guarantee the colony's safety. And now he even expects me to send men to the pirate's den. He's mad if he thinks those cutthroats will bargain with us. Can you teach me to fight with a sword? I could give you a few useful tips on using an epee. How about a practice fight to get you started? An epee? Is that a uh, piercing weapon? Pointy pokey sword? Let's train, show me some sword skills. Let's train sounds like we're gonna fight. I don't wanna do that. Let's see. Let's train. Sounds good to me. Oh no. Bastard. Throw sand. Ha ha, blinded him. Don't dance, fight. You show him. Do I have unlimited sand? Yes, I do. You can do it. Why are we waiting? Uh, right, what, what? I tried to dodge. And it was like the moment I started to dodge, he hit me. Can I, uh, sleep in your beds? Not Get out of here. What? I'm under attack. What is go Let me That's leave. Right. Don't try anything else. I gotta go all the way back to the ship to sleep. <laughs> sleep in the captain's bed. Yes, I can.
Whoa, I think I just saw the one-time thing. The uh, This Pedro is just like this quill and book came out of nowhere. Okay. That's just because of his animation. I wasn't sure if that was a view distance effect or if that was uh, you know him pulling it out of hammer space. That confirms it was just hammer space. Last round was on me. If you want to keep going, just say the word. I no. Nah, not just Can you yet. show me some sword skills? Gladly. What about parrying? Make my blows hurt more. How do I repost? What about making more powerful repost? Attack, make faster attacks. Master the epi, and none of that's what I want. I'm looking for pirates. Wait, I know you. Yes, you're that chap Sebastiano had drummed out. In person. And you might be just the man I'm looking for. How about you take this message to the pirates? You'll get a hundred gold for delivering it, and another hundred for bringing back the reply. What do you say? Sure thing. I say you've got yourself a messenger. So here's the letter, and the gold. The pirate's den is somewhere on the island, probably to the northeast. And you should get yourself kitted out before you go. Um, who can do that for me? Pedro can tell you where to find what you need. Thank you. Tell him you're going to the other side of the island, and he'll kit you out. Sorry, mustache. Get out of here! Don't try anything else. Like super intense combat music, just because I walked in the house in this building. Get out of here! Dun, 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 dun. Don't try anything else. Goodness. It's intense. AF. Oh my god. Level of detail. The awning, the, the cannon, the crate, the wagon. Maybe not the wagon. There it is. Like, why was this ever considered acceptable? That's that's just completely ridiculous. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, twenty-eight. What? You forgot twenty-eight. You forgot twenty-eight. I've got my own system, so don't go confusing me. Sorry, did I interrupt you? Well, yes, but not from anything important. Just making sure the posh folk of Caldera will still have sugar for their tea. It's crazy, isn't it? The whole world's going to shit, and here we are still worrying about pennies and profit. So, you here looking for a job? I gotta get to the other side of the island. I need to go to the other side of the island. Blimey, you're a brave one, aren't you? All sorts of nastiness running about there. Wild animals, escaped slaves, pirates. Yeah, pirates. A whole bunch of them, out east. So if you're heading out there, you'll need the proper gear. Do you know anything about the pirates? Never even seen one before, mate. Ask Rock for. He knows about pirates. Okay. Is there a map of the island? Ask De Fuego. He might know. He's the governor of Puerto Sacrico. You'll never get in to see him looking like that, though. At least put a shirt on. So I need to get some clothes. Count as your man for that. He's prison guard at the tower. He's always got uh, odds and ends for sale. <laughs> This is guy's job is to tell me to talk to other people. Where can I get supplies? Try Osorio. He'll sell you some. He'll be in his kitchen in the little building in front of the square. I need to earn some gold. Well, always plenty of work for day laborers here. How do I sign up? Go see Osorio. He's the man to speak to. I have to get going now. Right home. Now, where was I? Technically, you were on 29. 29. So I was. 29, 30, 31. Okay. Talk to everybody. That's basically what he said. Rock Fort, tell me about the pirates. You've already told me about the pirates. Sorry. Apparently. And he's not going to have new information for me. Can't talk to De Fuego until I get hurt. 
Where oh, are you off to? Um, I do need to talk to De Fuego, but not right now. I need to talk to De Fuego. You'll have to put on some proper clothes if you want to see the governor. Um, I'm watching you, mate. You'd better not touch anything. Uh, whoa. You're looking for something in here? You guys are... They've become Siamese twins. They phased into each other. Okay, uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna look around. Can I read the Masked Man without pissing these guys off? Steal a goblet. Some cheese from over here. Okay, okay. Time to uh, exploit the save states. Yoink. Oh, I'm missing. Where's the Where's the loot that I wanted? Raw fish. look over here, guys. This is totally not a distraction of any sort. And don't mind me frantically running over to the next room. The master. He man. won against everyone he fought, which is why none of his opponents had ever seen his face. And the man in the mask was last seen in a tavern in Antigua. Interesting. Mm. What? and Antigua. I don't think Antigua is on this island. Antigua might be a different island altogether. Oh, there's a candlestick. That's going to be harder to snag. There are three guards. Where's the other guy? Hey, yoink. Got it. Run away. Dirty shirt. I have clothes. The world's dirtiest shirt. Still, Still not, not a pirate, pirate yet. yet. Dirty shirt gives me a tiny bit of defense. But I am curious. I can sleep till midnight. Maybe I can sneak into the uh, guard barracks while they're sleeping. What room is this? This seems like it would be... Like a servant's quarters or something? Also, my goodness, it is surprisingly dark. I was not expecting that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is where I killed all those turkeys. I kind of like the nighttime music. It's like it's very similar, but just has a little bit of an extra foreboding, dangerous kind of tone to it. With like the the drums. Dum, dum. Oh, that's a locked chest. I can't 
get in there. Worn out boots. I can steal these, though. Oh, I don't even have shoes. Can I exit? I guess I'm stuck. What's that? Don't. It was nothing. Nothing at all. Got shoes. Let's see if I can talk to something up here. Frog and provisions. Powdered poppy seed. Nothing. 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 Tra la la. So yeah, there's Largo. <laughs> he went from one holding cell to another. These nighttime graphics are kind of cool too. It's like ever so slightly smoky and foggy, with just these little trace rays of light kind of peeking through the trees. Like there's some good artistic stuff going on with the visuals, but it's just there's just all this technical crap going on with the level of detail and the warping foliage, the view distance. So. I guess you want to speak to the prisoner. Ye yeah, sure. What's the prisoner doing here? We sent him into the fields with the Malukas. But Riley reckoned he was too much of a troublemaker. So, he's gonna stew a few days in the tower. I hear you sell clothing. Yeah? Says who? Pedro might have mentioned it. Look if you want. You look like you could use something fresher. I am wearing the world's dirtiest shirt. Show me what you've got. Largo's leather shirt. You, well, what, 475 bucks to buy this full set? I don't think so. Not right now. Maybe I'll buy the pants and the bandana. That bastard nicked oh, all my stuff. He's got no clothes. He's already sold my red bandana, and he kept my black pearl earring for himself. <laughs> Mind you, <laughs> I'm not the only one having bad luck, eh? Your mates in the Inquisition shook you out. Everything go okay at the storehouse? Reasonably. There's a locked door I couldn't get in. I'm gonna, I guess, get on this guy's good side and remain in uh, character for my secret mission. The Inquisition can fuck right off. <laughs> now you're talking my language. So, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Join up with the pirates? Pirates, eh? Listen, and I'll give you a tip. There's someone among the pirates who can give you a lockpick. You get it and bring it here, and I'll show you how to use it. Now we're talking. You're going nowhere? What, what does that mean? Okay. Go to the pirate's den and find a smith called Stone. He owes me, so we'll give the pick to you for free if he knows I sent you. How do I prove that? Bring him something of mine. Either my bandana or that black pearl of mine. How do I get the... Pearl. How do I get the pearl? Do you know how to pick pockets? I sure don't. Uh, no worries. I know all about the art of thieving. Teach me to steal. Can you make me a better thief? For gold? Sure. Wanna be good at pickpocket a thousand gold? 
Hopefully, at least he doesn't charge me for picking locks, but I don't have enough cunning for that. Any tips for beginners? Can we finish this later? How can I get the bandana? Carter sold it to the warden, Riley. Smarmy bastards wearing it around the place right now. Challenge him to a duel to get it back. That way the guards won't get involved. How do you know? Uh, no. I've got to get hang about. You uh, wouldn't have a swig of grog on you. Bastards don't give me nothing to drink. To try to force me to work. I guess so. Here you go. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. I hope that'll pay off later. Show me what you've got. Well, since I need a thousand bucks to learn pickpocketing. I don't think I want to buy any of that. So my cunning is still only one, even though I have learned one uh, cunning related skill. I guess I have to learn thievery level one. Wait a minute, this requires me to have cunning level two. How the hell do I get cunning two? Spend my glory? That's it. That's all it is. I spend my glory and I can increase the stats. That's right. So that's good to know. Now that I remember that. I wonder if now that I have a shirt I can talk to De Fuego. He's probably sleeping right now, but... That's much better. You can talk to the governor now. Um, let me save here. De Fuego. And here, well, actually, let me sh see. This is what bugs me, is that the quick saves, it's a new save every single time. I would really like it if the quick save would just be like one slot or if it would rotate two or three slots and just overwrite them because this this clutters up the save file window significantly and I like to have you know my preset uh, checkpoints my manual checkpoints like leaving Caldera arriving at Takaregua talking to Defuego etc so that way, when I have to come back later to review the game, I want to try to get footage for things that I may not have recorded in my playthrough. I have good reference points, and with all these save files just like cluttering up quick saves, that means they get buried and then I have to go through and manually delete every single one in the game. And if I recall, right, the files that are stored on the computer don't specify whether it's a quick save or an auto save or a manual save, so you kind of have to do it one at a time in this window. The way I see it, Governor, half my chaps defend your villa, not the colony. Come now, Commandant. The colony is adequately defended. That's not the way it sounds in Lieutenant Rockfall's report. Rockfall? I'm the big cheese here, not him. <laughs> the big cheese. When the pirates landed on the other side of the island, he made a stink about increasing security. But his highest priority should be the safety of the governor. Me. The High Council never. Do you presume to invoke the council that appointed me governor? Now, Commandant, 
Out of the goodness of my heart, I've ordered supplies be taken aboard your vessel so you can sail at the earliest opportunity. Would you have me rescind these instructions? I'm waiting for the ship. What a terrible day. Ew, didn't they start out as... <laughs> I want to say when he left the ship, he said, like, what a glorious day, or what a splendid day. Now it's what a terrible day. Where are you sailing for now? As soon as we have our supplies on board, we're heading back to the Sword Coast. Every few months we sail to Caldera and Takarigua to recruit new chaps and deliver slaves. I hope our base is still there. You're worried about your base on the Sword Coast? We've secured a small area on the eastern shoreline, but the jungle is full of savages. Any we catch, we bring back as slaves. Our weapons are superior, but they've got that damn heathen magic. It's a tricky situation. You're getting ready to evacuate Caldera, right? Not only that. The old world was almost completely destroyed by the Titan Lords. They used the magic in the old temples to summon their Titans. Some of the temples survive. On the Sword Coast, for example. We're here to watch over the temple and prevent anyone from accessing its power. Otherwise, our Berea will soon be in the same situation as the Northern Continent. Our Berea. But, whoa, whoa. Buddy. <laughs> Take it easy, he's stepping over railings. Alright, um, nothing worth looting. And what can I do for you? I need a map. I need a map of the island. Well, for a hundred gold, it's all yours. Um, can I steal it from him? Maybe I'll do this later instead. Rockfall commissioned me to take a letter to the pirates. So, you have it with you then? Yes. Let me see it. Still sealed. Good. Make sure it stays that way until it gets to where it's supposed to. Understand? Absolutely. Um... Okay. I need some equipment. I've got some stuff that I keep spare for visitors. I warn you now, though, I'm not running a charity. It'll cost. Show me your goods. Show me what you've got. Silk shirt, elegant waistcoat. Hmm. I like silver tongue. That's even better, though. Plus ten. So many decisions to make. Uh, I can get this for 200 bucks to increase my silver tongue by five, and that would be enough to get Patty to work in the kitchen and do the messenger quest for Osorio. And I think he was going to pay me 200, so that would just pay that right back. But the black. Largo's black pearl earring, I assume, would have to be better would maybe be like plus 10 or 15 silver tongue, and I can get that by stealing it for free? I need money to get pickpocketing abilities. I heard right about some escaped slaves. Slaves is such a harsh word. I prefer the term involuntary workforce. Those savages should be grateful that we give them proper clothing and a roof over their heads. But oh no, they still want to run off and live in the jungle like animals. And then they think they deserve some kind of revenge on those who looked after them. I'm a lenient man, but you have to be rough with these renegades. It's the only thing they understand. That's why I put a price on their heads. How much is the bounty? There's three of these savages, so it's a hundred gold ahead. Can't you just send your soldiers after them? 
If I send Rockfaw out with his men, he'll patrol along the edge of the jungle and come back empty-handed. Too scared to go in the jungle, and it's not like I've got time to do the job myself. Maybe you should raise the bounty. I hope you're not accusing me of anything. For 200 ahead, I bet someone could be persuaded to take the job. Someone like you, you mean? I think I can choose to not do this later if for some reason I can later side with the slaves. But I'm gonna take it for now. I'll hunt them down for you. You will? Good man. I'll have the gold ready waiting when you get back. However, for 600 gold, I expect all three of their heads. That sounds like he wants me to murder them. I don't want to kill the slaves. And I have apprehensions about bringing them back to involuntarily be part of your workforce, but... Alright, well... I might have to buy that map from him. Whoa. What is happening? There's like a fire inside this crate. Yeah, that ain't right. Somebody done goofed. But, uh... I've got, like, so many things I need or want to spend money on, and I don't have much to work with now. So I think I'm gonna explore and try to get some more money. Oh, more wine. I have a better idea of kind of how to budget. I'm probably going to have to struggle a little bit in combat to begin with, but thankfully I got patty cakes here to ink hits for me. But that's basically it for Porto Sacarico. Need silver tongue for kitchen help. I gotta take a letter to the pirates. Bounty wants me to kill three escaped slaves, apparently. I gotta get Largo's bandana and his black pearl. So that's probably about a good stopping place for this um, episode, this first session. So I guess I'm going to save it here. I'm going I'm to try to reinstall those mods to get the graphics looking good again, because it was working fine when I was running around this island doing my test footage, like I spent 30 minutes just testing everything and it was not giving me all this crazy pop in. And I'm gonna try to run that again. And if, if I start getting crazy crashes, then I guess I'll just have to uninstall it and deal with the graphics as they are. But I'm gonna try again, because I really just, I don't like all this pop in stuff. So we'll see how that goes, but for now thanks for watching this episode up until this point and again if you would like to continue watching the rest of the playthrough be on the lookout for uh the, the next episodes will be unlisted and playlist format so that'll be links below in the description or maybe a card up here in the upper corner or maybe it's in the end screen somewhere like here there it's you should be able to find it pretty easily Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.